from the East Tennessee Weather Center. Here's your afternoon weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And another beautiful day around East Tennessee. A little bit more humidity, a little bit warmer, but we've had some high-level clouds. Gave us a great sunset last night and an amazing sunrise here this morning. Thanks to Julie Ward, one of our Witcher weather watchers, passing this along uh, via the East Tennessee Weather app under Witcher's Pictures. That's from Whitesburg in Hamblin County. A beautiful sunrise taking shape there. We also had another great one coming in from Sheila Miller and Von Noor. Gorgeous color in the sky. And in Union County, Angela Cook passing this one along. And grab those photos. Share your photos with us using the East Tennessee Weather app under Witcher's Pictures. It comes right to the weather computer. All right, so we'll have a few high thin clouds. I think we're going to have another great sunset uh, later on this evening. I don't think we're going to have as many high clouds as we had yesterday through the evening hours, but they will build as we get into our Thursday with some light rain, late, mainly south of Interstate 40 late in the day on Thursday. Friday into the weekend, Francine, or at least the remnants of Francine, will bring us elevated rain chances. So let's talk about the tropics. We've got ourselves a hurricane, Category 1 hurricane right now. Winds are maxed out at 90 miles per hour. It is just off the shore of Louisiana, bringing in a lot of rain and a lot of wind there as well. And this storm system is going to continue to track its way up the Mississippi River Valley, kind of over Memphis. But we're going to get feeder bands on the outside of that, and that's going to scoot into the area, bringing us increasing rain chances. Now, for the rest of the day today, we have higher dew point numbers in the 50s, and so that's going to uh, make it feel just a little bit warmer. The sweat factor goes up just a little bit today from what we saw yesterday. Temperatures, though, just above average. Average high for this time of year is 85. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s throughout the day. So a little bit warmer through the evening hours, but still very pleasant under increasing high-level clouds. We're at 78 degrees by 8, 73 degrees by 10 o'clock here tonight. Our dew points are coming up as this tropical moisture starts to swing its way into the area. So while temperatures do come down Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, thanks to clouds and rain associated with Francine, the high humidity will be with us. Through the day on Thursday, we'll see a few passing showers, again, mainly south of Interstate 40. And you can see it's not going to be an all-day washout as we get into our Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Friday and so, some of these days we'll have to watch closely as some of these feeder bands may set up into a certain area while some folks around town may get a lot of rain and some may not get so much, depending on how these little feeder bands set up wrapping around that low pressure system. This will take us all the way through Friday, and you'll notice that uh, we are starting to see increasing rain chances. Again, the atmosphere on Thursday is so dry, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. Again, if we see much, it's going to be south of Interstate 40, but that should be about the extent of it. We'll see a lot of verga or rain evaporating before it reaches the surface, before actually the rain does actually reach the surface. But that will increase the heaviest rain again to our west and southwest over Mississippi and parts of uh, Tennessee. So let's continue our future cast because here is uh, the energy associated with Francine. But I wanted to point out something. It's just going to kind of meander and then slowly kind of drift across the state and then kind of open up to an open wave, more or less, as we get into our Monday. So that's going to be spinning across the area all the way through the weekend, and that's why it's going to set up for, for a rather unsettled weather pattern. But then there's another piece of energy that's going to be on the southern end of high pressure. High pressure is across the northeast. You get clockwise rotation around high pressure. So anything developing south of that gets pushed inland. And so we'll have to watch out for this next little piece of energy that's going to kind of wrap itself up with the remnants of Francine as we get into the middle part of next week. So all the way through Friday here around East Tennessee, we'll get anywhere from about a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain. We'll add a little bit more to that, especially south of Interstate 40 and along the plateau as we get into our Saturday and Sunday time frame. But don't cancel any weekend outdoor plans. I know we have a big football game coming up. We'll talk about that here in a second. And then that next piece of energy comes through across the coastline of the Carolinas into Virginia. But does it bring us rain next week? Possible. So TBD, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on that. Again, generally speaking, a quarter of an inch to upwards of an inch and a quarter across the area over the next seven days. So not drought-busting rain, but definitely some beneficial rain. Even though dew points come up, temperatures come down, so it's going to be a mild and muggy weekend with scattered rain chances associated with Francine. And then those temperatures come up. I think as we round out the month of September, we may be trending above average per the Climate Prediction Center, so we'll keep you posted on that. All right, let's dive into the details on those rain chances, though, because those rain chances do ramp up as we get into our Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Not a ton on Thursday, more elevated in nature as we get into our Friday, Saturday, and it should start to fade as we get into next week until that next piece of energy comes through, which may elevate our rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe. 
So we got a big football game Saturday night, kickoff at 745. If you're heading down to the stadium to do some tailgating, we'll be right around 68 degrees at noon when we start to typically do our tailgates for those 730, 745 games. We have, we'll have a chance for rain, so something to keep in mind. I'll have more details, of course, as we get into our Thursday, Friday, and of course, Saturday morning. We'll be pinpointing a little bit more precisely for sure. But temperatures will be comfortable. We're going to be in the 70s as we get into kickoff. And uh, as the game ends, again, a couple of showers and maybe down into the mid-60s. So track Francine. Track the showers that we're talking about as we wrap up this week and head into the weekend, especially those weekend plans. Uh, check in on your daily forecast weather updates. So you can do so easily with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download. Just go to your Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word. We sure hope you have a great day. Again, if you grab any sort of photos from the beautiful sunrises and sunsets around town, send them my way. Again, through the East Tennessee Weather app using Witcher's Pictures. Have a great day. Your next weather update's coming up at 6. We'll have more updates on Francine. By that point, Francine's likely to have made landfall. See you soon.